In a medical fraud story that we've been following for you all week, a once respected cancer doctor was sentenced today for subjecting more than 500 patients to brutal treatments they did not need just to collect millions from insurance. Prosecutors asked for a sentence of 175 years. Dean Reynolds was in the court when the judge made his decision. The once renowned cancer doctor wept uncontrollably as he begged a federal judge for mercy, apologizing, as he said, from the bottom of my heart, while admitting he had inflicted needless pain and suffering on more than 500 of his patients. I stand before you so ashamed of my actions, cried Farid Fata. I don't know what more I can do to express my sorrow and shame. From the rows of victims seated a few feet away came the sound of muffled sobs. Fata, who administered almost 3,000 unneeded chemo treatments, said he had permitted a sin to enter him in a self-destructive quest for power. Prosecutors said it wasn't complicated. The sin was greed. Dr. Fada pounced on every opportunity to use a patient's body as a profit center. It's why he told healthy patients they were sick, why he told sick patients they were dying, why he told dying patients he was their only hope. All of it done with an eye on how much money he could claim from insurance. U.S. No Attorney role. Barbara McQuaid. Do you think that it was a highly sophisticated fraud. I do think it was a highly sophisticated fraud. Dr. Fada lied to everyone. He lied to his patients. He lied to his colleagues. He actually falsified a medical study to support the work that he was doing and the treatments that he was giving. And so uh, he was able to uh, fool many people who were very bright because he himself was very bright and very sophisticated. So Monica Flagg lives in pain from chemo for non-existent bone marrow cancer. Now that it's all over, does it lift your pain in any way? I don't know long term what his treatments will do to me emotionally and physically. Um, did it lift it? Yes. I'm glad he's behind bars and he will never hurt or poison anyone ever again. Now the judge ultimately handed down a sentence of 45 years in prison and while some victims thought that punishment was too light, Scott, prosecutors say it is highly likely that 50 year old Fareed Fata will spend the rest of his life behind bars. Unbelievable story. Dean Reynolds reporting for us from Detroit. Dean, thank you.